evening and welcome to the first ever Global Agency Awards brought to you by Don't Panic in association with Adzuma. I'll be your host for this evening's awards and I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining you, but of course it is a bit weird. If you want to know what I'm wearing, it's the usual, the glittery dress, the tiara, the really high shoes that I haven't had on for a very long time. Um, but nonetheless, it's going to be real good fun to uh, just celebrate and congratulate all the wonderful winners this evening. Um, sorry I'm not there in person, but um, this will definitely not stop us having a brilliant time. So tonight's awards are a true celebration of agencies right across the globe at a time when it's more important than ever to shout about your successes and reward true talent. And uh, go on, give yourselves a slap on the back. I can't see you, but I'll, I'll do it for you. There you go. And we've received some truly inspirational entries, can I tell you? And be sure to even make it onto the shortlist for the awards is a remarkable achievement as the standard of entries has been extremely high, so the judges tell me anyway. So we may not be with you celebrating in person, but we still want to see you. So make sure you're sending us selfies of how you're watching tonight's ceremony, as long as they're clean. And you can do that on social media using the hashtag Global Agency Awards. This evening, we'll be awarding a number of categories which you will see on screen now. And this is the point why I take a good scan across the room to see who's best dressed, who's going out with who, and who's drinking too much. Oops, uh, excuse me, what are you doing? Okay. So, from small to large agencies and everyone in between, we will be recognising the exceptional campaigns and projects you have delivered. Aside from all of you who enter these awards, there are many people behind the scenes who make ceremonies like this possible. One of which is our headline sponsor tonight, Adzuma. To welcome you, here is David Sharp, co-founder and director of Adzuma. Hello everyone. I hope you, your families and co-workers are keeping safe and adapting to the new environment we found ourselves in. I'm David Sharp, co-founder of Adzuma, and we're really excited to be sponsoring the Global Agency Awards today. We sponsor these awards as we believe strongly that recognition of exceptional work is a vital part of a thriving global market, and we should celebrate success together, even when we can't all be together. It's brilliant that Don't Panic have managed to organise the awards still, and fantastic to see so many high quality entrants. We're also very excited to be announcing the launch of our own agency marketplace, Many of our Adzuma users ask us for services that we simply don't provide. Website builds, SEO, e-commerce, development, app development and more. Now though, through our marketplace, we're able to connect those Adzuma users to agencies such as yourselves. So not only are we making sure that our users have access to the agencies that best suit their needs, but our agency partners as well are getting a good stream of quality leads. Head over to Adzuma.com and you can check it out. Now, that's enough about us. These awards are all about you. So thank you to all the entrants taking part and good luck. Without further ado, here we go. Uh, thank you, David. Awesome stuff. Now, just before we get started, we want to say a huge thank you to the group of people who spend tireless hours reviewing all of your entries and have the extremely difficult job of choosing our winners. The 2020 Global Agency Awards judges. Now, please welcome Adrian Cutler, Global Director of Agency at Microsoft, who on behalf of our 2020 judging panel will share an insight into why these awards are so important and just how difficult it was choosing all of our winners. It's not easy. Hello, welcome to the inaugural Global Agency Awards. I was delighted with the quality of the entries that we received this year. And when you think about some of the challenges that the agency world is seeing, uh, the adaptiveness that each of you are showing is incredible to see. We fundamentally always need to be thinking about what resonates most deeply for the clients that we work for and how we can bring that strategy and deep understanding of the landscape, uh, what a post COVID world could look like, and of course, how we can deliver on those client goals. And the entries really brought to life how each and every one of you are really thinking around this complex scenario. It's great to see the adaptability and I can only just thank you so much for entering the awards this year and look forward to seeing all of your entries again next year. Best of luck. 
I hope you really enjoyed this experience as much as I enjoyed judging it. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, Adrian. Tough job. Don't envy the judges at all. Just before we find out which ones of you will be crowned our winners, let's take a look at you all. Now you're scared. <laughs> Here's our 2020 Global Agency Awards shortlist. We have a Padme. Be Hooked are shortlisted for five awards. Be Digital, Blue Leads, Brand Advance, Broadcast Revolution, Campfire, CDS and Crystal Marketing. Across two categories, we have Delanta. And up for seven awards, we have Digital Loft. Forward PMX are hoping to take home six awards tonight. And a huge good luck goes to Frank, shortlisted for none other than five awards. Imprint, Innovation Visual, Jargon PR, who are up for four awards, Komodo, List and Found, Logical Position, Move Marketing, Novos, Oban International, Wanli. A big shout out to PKs, who are up for a staggering 11 awards this evening, Polestar Digital, Quizma Sweden, Rise Interactive, Somo, Stein IAS are hoping to pick up four awards tonight. Swipe Right PR, The Media Image, The Nunez Company. Think Tank's Seven Destinations campaign is up for four awards. The Wild, Upswing, Velo and Victorious, who are shortlisted for four awards and hoping to be victorious. Wow, so there really is quite a lot of you there and good luck to every single one of you. So there's just one thing left to do, apart from drink copious amounts of sangria, or whatever your particular tipple is. Um, let's find out what our Global Agency 2020 winners are. And good luck to all of you. First up, we have Best Social Media Campaign. So let's take a look at the shortlist. Be Hooked and the Lumineers. Brand Advance and NHS. Campfire and Misguided. Komodo and Finn Partners, Peak Ace and Sephora, Polestar Digital and Patient Claim Line, and Stein IAS and the Chip Shop Awards. To let us know who the winner is, please join me in welcoming the wonderful 2020 head judge and founder of House of Coco, Laura Bartlett. This entrance set a bold objective to trend at number one on the noisiest day for retail, but the results delivered were extremely impressive. They deeply matched the objective to the strategy and execution that delivered. Within six minutes, the campaign was trending at number one in the UK, and within the hour, the campaign trended number one globally. Amazing work. And the winner is Campfire Misguided, hashtag Make My Friday. Now let's go to the category which celebrates the best SEO campaign and our nominees are Delonta and Be Diet Catering, huge traffic gain for great weight loss. Digital Loft and Kitchen Night UK, e-commerce SEO delivers at 2,114% ROI. Peak Ace and Fair Partery, Sharenting. Peak Ace and Carton Macari, how data tells wedding stories. Peak Ace and Yours Clothing, body shaming. Upswing and Mega Image. Now here we go, Victorious and Boombox, San Francisco Storage. Victorious and Capsule Supplies, a dose of success. Victorious and Printivity, a blueprint for success and victorious and Gemma and Co <laughs> a powerful engagement now before we um, actually find out who the winner is the judges felt there was an entry worthy of a highly commended award in this particular category and the highly commended award goes to wait for it drum roll homemade <laughs> there you go that was it it goes to digital loft and kitchen knives UK so congratulations to you guys but now Let's find out who our winner is. So please, will you welcome Helena Pierce, Head of Content at Samsung Electronics and Global Agency Awards 2020 judge. The judges commented that this was a solid entry overall. The results from the campaign feel very promising, 
particularly for a 22k euro campaign. They took into account the behaviour of the search engine and adapted their content strategy in a sophisticated way, which is very impressive to see. And our best SEO campaign winner is... Upswing and Mega Image when content drives ROI. Okay guys, cheers. I hope you're uh, topping up your champagne glasses. Here we go. Next up, we have the best PPC campaign. So let's take a look at our finalists. Crystal Marketing and Vehicle Accessories, Forward PMX and Tommy Hilfiger, Rise Interactive and TMI and Refinitiv. So here we go. I hope you're ready. <clears throat> Get the older uh, vocal cords going. So to tell us who the winner is, we have another one of our fabulous, lovely judges and SEO digital marketing manager at Tide, Kirsten Reichert. The judges commented that this was a very well documented submission with clear budgets and objectives and plenty of details concerning strategy and results. The campaign was delivered in a well thought out manner. They demonstrated impressive conversion rates and cost reductions in conversion over time. And the winner is TMI and Refinitiv, Rebrand and Restructure. I am actually sitting here wondering what you're drinking. Yeah, mine's a, mine's a fruity gin and tonic. Nice. Anyway, enjoy. So now we have the best PR campaign. Before we announce the winner, let's have a look at the shortlist. Digitaloft and Cosmetify. Frank and Burger King UK, Burger King Meltdown. I think I'm having one, I'm so hungry. Frank and Huawei, London Lights. And I need an award to say Huawei. Frank and Portsmouth Council, the D-Day story. D-Day soldiers of sacrifice, honoring the fallen heroes of D-Day. And to announce the winner, please join me in welcoming Here's a big cheese. Our 2020 head judge and director at Microsoft Search Advertising, Adrian Cutler. I'm delighted to announce the winner of Best PR Campaign. The judges commented that this was a fantastic piece of data-driven, creative content work on an incredibly tight budget that delivered terrific results, which was hugely impressive. And the winner is Digital Loft and Cosmetify. Congratulations. Our fifth award this evening is for the best not-for-profit campaign. There's no shortlist in this category, so let's go straight to our winner, like your style. So please welcome 2020 head judge and founder of House of Coco, Laura Bartlett. We felt that this was a nice initiative to drive awareness on a real world problem that delivered incredible results. The press attention was well deserved, a very impressive entry. And our winner is Frank and the Lewis Pooh Foundation, The Long Swim. Now it's normally about this time where my feet are really killing me and I end up taking off my shoes because they're really high and I never normally wear them. But guess what? I'm not wearing them, am I? Am I? Ah, oh, you'll never know. So. Next, we have the award for the best marketing campaign. So let's see who's up for an award in this amazing category. The Hooked and the Lumineers. Spurring growth with the Stay In and Glow. Stein IAS and Marshalls. And the Think Tank. Now, telling us who the winner is, we have the one and only Emily Goodman. The judges commented that given the niche target audience, this campaign proved to deliver significant value for the client and completely smashed the target objective on ROI. And the winner is Stein IAS and Marshalls from start to finish. Can I just say before we carry on, um, you're all looking amazing. Nice, nice turnout. You've really made an effort. Shame that guy there didn't wash his hair, but never mind. So let's move on to the best integrated campaign. Neither did I, by the way. So let's take a quick look at the shortlist for this category. List and found. And the think tank. And announcing the winner, please will you welcome somebody who's made an incredible effort this evening. Look at you. We have VP of Marketing at Banked and 2020 judge, Jennifer Hoffman. 
We felt that this entry showed nice objectives and it was great to see their objectives linked to results. They're a small agency making a big impact with excellent campaigns and results. And the winner is List and Found. Hold on, this can't be right. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. Next up, the best event, aside from this one, that's okay. Aside from this one, of course, on the short list, we have Blue Leads and Band Grip. And Frank Huawei. Oh, so let's find out who our winner is. Please, will you welcome, here they come, raise a glass. 2020 Judge and Marketing Director at Everton FC, Richard Kenyon. This event idea was incredibly clever and very creative. It was a great idea, especially using something not visible to the naked eye to show how good the Huawei camera is. So our winner is Frank and Huawei London Lights. Now let's find out who has won the award for the best crisis communications or response campaign. Our nominees are Be Digital and Imperibox, and Brand Advance and NHS. For the winner, please will you welcome Head of Search at Vashi and 2020 Judge Rick Rodriguez. The judges highlighted that this campaign demonstrated solid objectives with a clear goal and a nice focus on education. Great performance from a simple but effective strategy. And the winner is Be Digital and Imperibox. Now it's on to the Campaign Effectiveness Award. Let's take a look at those finalists. Be Hooked and the Lumineers. Blue Leads and On Point Consulting. Digital Loft and Kitchen Knives UK. And the Think Tank. Now for the winner, Oh, here she is, 2020 Judge and Sales and Marketing Director of Pure Cottages, Tracy Archer. We were really impressed to see so many fantastic results with this campaign, given the very modest budget. The quality of the content was great um, and the approach was absolutely spot on. And so the winner is Digital Loft and Kitchen Knives. Are you ready to find out who has won the best global campaign? Can I hear a yes? Good. But before we do, let's take a look at who's hoping to take home that award. Be Hooked and the Lumineers, Open International and AXA, and the Think Tank. Telling us who the winner in this category is, we have the wonderful, the one, the only. Here you are, I'm bigging you up now, don't let me down. No pressure. Laura Bartlett. The judges commented that this was a truly global campaign and given the budget and the amount of time they had demonstrated some fantastic results. The entry was well detailed and showed a solid concept being well executed. And our winner is Oban International and AXA Global Healthcare, selling health insurance and peace of mind to expats. Next up, here we go, we have the award for the best agency culture. Nominated in this category, we have Peak Ace AG, Somo, Stein IAS, Velo, and Victorious. For the winner announcement, please welcome Helena Pierce, Head of Content at Samsung Electronics and Global Agency Awards 2020 Judge. This agency puts a lot of energy into its people development. It's clearly a successful agency that has made a conscious decision to put extensive resource into honing its culture and people to drive business results, especially with the continued education and development programmes. And the winner is Peak Ace. Right then folks, are you ready? Let's see who our winner in the best new agency is under 24 months old. I mean, they're not actually under 24 months old. I mean, the business is, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, shortlisted in this category, we have Broadcast Revolution, The Wild, and The Nunez Company. So, who's our winner, I hear you say? No, who is our winner, I hear you say? Did you say that? Oh, good. 
to tell us, please, will you welcome another one of our fabulous, lovely judges and SEO digital marketing manager at Tide, Kirsten Reichert. The judges highlighted that this agency has a really strong client list and strong results for a relatively new agency. We enjoyed seeing that this company is really bringing back some offline traditional marketing channels and that there is commendable commitment to gender and BAME diversity in spokespeople and clear care for employees. Also impressive to have such a large commitment to charity at such an early stage. And our winner is Broadcast Revolution. Now it's time for the Biddable Media Agency of the Year. Now, before we find out who the winner is, let's have a look at all those gorgeous nominees. Logical Position and Polestar Digital. So to find out our winner, they're up. Let's go. Take it away. Adrian Cutler. For the category Biddable Media Agency of the Year, I'm delighted to announce the winner. The judges felt that it was great to see that SMB are treated as their own business because, as they rightly put it in the entry, the agency is nothing without the clients. They demonstrated simple but effective good use of automation and their results are hugely impressive. Well done. And the winner is Logical Position. Congratulations. Wow, that was quick. This is where my feet start hurting because I'm normally standing up for ages, but of course now I'm just in a comfy chair. But let's pretend so I've got my shoes on, the dress is still sparkling. And yes, that's the first half of the Global Agency Awards done. So congratulations to all of our lovely winners so far. And we're going to have a quick break now, just so you've got a chance to go and refill your glasses, go to that lovely bar. Oh, look at that dolphin carved out in ice and all the canapes are swanning around. Actually, no, what it really means is go back in the kitchen and get yourself another beer. And make sure you join us again in about two minutes to find out who the rest of our winners are. Welcome back. I tell you what, this beats uh, one of those Zoom quizzes you have in with all those people you don't like anymore. Anyway, I hope you're suitably topped up and ready to find out who has won the final awards for this evening. Okay, so let's start off the second half of the awards with the Digital Agency of the Year Award. Hoping for a win, we have a Padme Limited, CDS, Digital Off, Forward PMX. Peak Ace AG and Quizma Sweden. Some great companies there, but let's find out who has actually won. Big competition. And here comes the big announcer. Please, will you welcome from our headline sponsor, co founder of Adzuma, David Sharp. 
The judges commented that this was a very, very impressive submission and agency. They are a global business with global clients and seemingly very forward thinking. The entry tells a clear story about this agency and the journey they set out on in the beginning of 2019. This is one of the best agency entries the judges have seen, highlighting fantastic client wins, work delivered, agency growth and more. And the winner is... Forward PMX! So, we're all primed up and ready for uh, another drink. I mean, um, our next award. So, let's take a look at the B2B Agency of the Year Award. And the finalists are... Jargon PR List and Found Move Marketing Limited Stein IAS Advancing B2B on Purpose and Velo so, for the winner, please join me in welcoming the rather lovely Emily Goodman. We felt that this agency has demonstrated excellent results as an agency and for individual clients, backed by stellar campaigns and branded demand ideas. These campaigns stand out for all the right reasons, and the achievements for this agency are in a league of their own. Ethical commitments and their gender balance are commendable, as are the associated achievements. And our winner is... Stein IAS. Right, ladies and gentlemen, well done. It's uh, it's a great night. Well, I hope it is wherever you are. Um, yeah, I'm dressed up to the nines. I'm not in my pyjamas, I promise. Now, on to the SEO Agency of the Year Awards. And shortlisted in this category, we have... Delante, Digital Loft, Novos, Peak Ace AG, Upswing, and Victorious. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's find out who's won. Okay, please will you welcome, because they're definitely ready, Jennifer Hoffman. This was a very solid entry that shows the benefit of their work for their client's business. They have demonstrated a positive approach to the work environment and team happiness, which is great to see. The strategy was very well executed, especially with the budget given. And the winner is... Novos. I think it's about time, don't you? Yeah, it's definitely time now to tell our Integrated Search Agency of the Year finalists who's won. Nominated, we have... Forward PMX, Logical Position, and Peak Ace AG. Announcing the winner, <coughs> just warming up the vocals, please will you welcome 2020 Judge and Marketing Director at Everton FC, Richard Kenyon. In this category, the judges commented that this agency's focus on staff and the continuing improvement of the working environment is well appreciated and their career development is exceptional. They demonstrated a great presentation of results across different channels, as well as their campaigns, objectives and results. And the winner is... Peak Ace. Next up, we have the Social Media Agency of the Year Awards. Let's take a look at our lovely nominees in this rather beautiful category. <laughs> Be Hooked Digital and Polestar Digital. To let us know who's won this, please, will you welcome with a big, warm, hearty, from at home round of applause, Rick Rodriguez. The judges found this agency had nice objectives that focus on CSR as well as commitment to employee satisfaction, growth and furthering capabilities within the agency. A strong all round set of objectives. The capitalization on the Pepper Pig Stormzy meeting is fantastic and hilarious. The judges struggled to fault them here. And our winner is... Be Hooked. Right, on on. And uh, let's move on on to the Marketing Agency of the Year Award. Now, the judges did not announce a shortlist in this particular category. So let's find out who our winner is. Straight off, please welcome... Another one of our fabulous, lovely judges and SEO Digital Marketing Manager at Tide, Kirsten Reichert. This agency has demonstrated exceptional growth, contribution to industry by way of keynote speakers and industry reports, including COVID playbook, 
and commendable dedication to developing leadership internally. Their technological innovations regarding big data demonstrates real value add for clients over and above the usual marketing agency value. Well done. And the winner is Forward PMX. Okay, now I know that we're all working up to, you know, having a good old dance on the dance floor or in the kitchen is what probably most of us will be doing. <laughs> so here we are. This is the Independent Agency of the Year, which is kindly sponsored by Agency NXD. And the nominees are Digitaloft, Jargon PR, PK SAG, SOMO and The Media Image. Right now, to tell us our winner, I'm very pleased, I'm really excited to welcome here founder of our category sponsor, Agency NXD, Richard Gregory. This particular agency has demonstrated solid objectives with huge staffing goals. Gender diversity is at their core, which is very refreshing to see. The judges were impressed by their growth of net revenue and new employees, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. And the winner is the media image. Congratulations. Right then, you beautiful people. I'm sure you are. I can't see you all, but you know, I can spot a few and wow, you're gorgeous. So uh, let's go to the PR Agency of the Year Awards now. Um, there's no shortlist in this category, so we will get straight to the winner. So please, will you welcome Richard Gregory? We were particularly impressed with the focus on CSR this entry showcased. This included minimizing its carbon footprint and environmental impact, and an emphasis on mental health, hidden disabilities and ethnic minorities. This is an agency that is actually addressing the gender balance in leadership, which is great to see. And our winner is... Jargon PR. Congratulations. Next up, we have the award for the Multi-Territory Agency of the Year. Would you like to take a look? I'd love to take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at the shortlist. Forward PMX and PCase AG. Oh, I wonder who the worthy winner is. Well, there's a worthy person to tell us who that worthy winner is. And please welcome that worthiness, David Sharp. The judges highlighted that this agency had amazing client wins and the way they are pivoted during COVID-19 is great to see. They are showing great growth through recruiting and internal promotion for homegrown talent recognition, coupled with an external focus to elevate the industry. They are leading the way with FP Consulting, a model for others to follow, and are extremely forward thinking. And the winner is Forward PMX. So folks, we have made it to our penultimate award in this evening's celebrations. For those of you who don't know, that means the last but one. The Global Small Agency of the Year Award is upon us. And our nominees are Digitaloft, Imprint, Innovation Visual, Jargon PR, Move Marketing Limited, Wanley, and Swipe Right PR. So here we go, no pressure, but this is the penultimate. This is the one, the global small agency. Who's gonna tell us who the winner is? It's Richard Gregory. This agency provided a detailed breakdown of agency staffing and new campaign wins, along with impressive year on year agency growth. You can tell there is an overall emphasis on quality, not quantity with this agency. And they demonstrated a ton of creativity in a standout entry submission. And the winner is Digital Loft. Congratulations. Okay, guys, so it's time to plump up your cushions. Take that as you will, um, because this is it. Are you ready to find out who has won our final award? I said, are you ready? I can't hear you. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the Best Large Global Agency of the Year Award. Here comes that shortlist. A Padme Limited. Brand Advance, Forward PMX, and Peak Ace AG. To let us know who's won this, please, will you welcome with a big, warm, hearty, 
from at home, round of applause from our headline sponsor, co-founder of Adzuma, David Sharp. This entry is one of the most thorough and well-rounded entries the judges have seen, giving a very clear picture of the agency. We appreciated the emphasis placed on staff and company culture in this entry, highlighting that successful agencies are made up of more than just great client work. Well done. And our winner is Peak Ace. So would you believe it? That's it. We have our 2020 Global Agency Award winners. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's been a bit different, but you know what? Let's do it all again. <laughs> I think you'll agree this has been just a great celebration. Um, it's recognised some truly great agencies and individuals across the globe. Um, a global event um, and from wherever you are, I hope that you, you've got a feel for it and that you've all felt just really proud of yourselves so congratulations to you all and i would like to also say a very special thank you to our headline sponsors adzuma category sponsors agency nxd and our 2020 judging panel for making these awards possible thank you so much so guys that just about wraps things up this is normally where i sort of stumble down the steps off the stage and come and mingle we have a dance on the dance floor we drink a bit more wine, um, we do loads of selfies, and I promise you, one day we will do that. But in the meantime, just stay safe, keep on celebrating, I certainly will, and cheers. Keep up the amazing work. Well done.